Oh, this mess. Whatever. Let's see here. Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good. Oh. Five. Let's see here. Wait for my people to get here. Do, do, do. Uh, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. <clears throat> Wait and for the peoples to get here. Oh, they're here. Hey, how y'all doing? What up, Dr. Silva? How you doing? going on with you doing well yes we out here speaking that truth that's right baby that's right hold on what's going on with my oh there we go i was a little bit low over here okay there we go how you doing oasis sabrina char jonathan um is that cara mr marco it's good how you doing gold millions i see you up in here christian First moderator to enter the building. Brandy was good with you, Aaron. Tiff, what's up? Emily, I see you up in here. Prime. Zachary was good with you, Sunrise. Omar, if I didn't say hi already, hello. J Wells, Libby, Cinnamon Cake. I look, my people are here. My peoples are here. I see y'all. What up, Christian? Christian number two, TBC. Christopher Hernandez in the building. Mignoni. Hold on. Let me turn on my. Need to clean around my phone. I'll turn the volume up. Ring, ring, ring her off. What? There we go. Ring her on. There we go. Zachary done came in here and gifted the channel membership. Better snatch it up. Better thank him. Oh, I, I, I moderator snatched that one up with a quickness. Better thank him, girl. Shout out to you. I see you up in here. The hundred pineapples. Serenity. We in here, y'all. We is in here. We about to have a good old night. That's what I'm talking about. About to have a good old night. I'm excited too. I am happy to be here. God, it feel like was that? Is just me? Or was it a long weekend without me? <laughs> but y'all got a Karen video earlier today. That was uh, quite entertaining. If y'all want to go check that out. I posted that. If y'all want 30 more minutes of me after the live stream, if you haven't already, watch that. You're more than welcome to. I posted it earlier on this channel. The second channel got some content too. We've been blowing up on Instagram. I gained a thousand followers on Instagram yesterday. Because I've been going crazy with the content over there as well. Just keeping it lighthearted, fun. Funny. Some stuff to laugh at. Most of it is laughing at me, honestly. <laughs> but we here. We here to have a good time. All right. We're about to get this thing rocking and rolling. Y'all, this first video is this creepy footage has the internet hooked. But before we get into this, what up, AOK Mafia? It's your boy, Art of Kicks It Just Like That. We back with another one. I just got back. From a nice stroll in the park. Y'all been keeping up with your boy on the social medias. Monday through Friday. I'll go to the park and I'll walk around. Usually I do it in the morning. But today I did it in the evening. I go walk around for about two hours. And I do about 200 push-ups on my walk. Every bench I come across, I stop and do 20 push-ups. So by the end of the walk, I have have done 200 push-ups. And man, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling stronger in the upper body region. I feel like my belly is going down little by little during these walks every day. I was like, you know what? The gym ain't doing it for me. I'm not motivated to keep up with the gym life. But I do love going outside and walking in the park every day. That, that I can do. That I can do. So I was like, you know what? Let me... 
Let me start here. Let me start here. Yeah, we're about to get this party rocking and rolling. Again, this is this creepy footage. Has the internet hooked? Y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Oh, what in the UFO? No mama's way. We've seen that before, I think. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slap Town. Today we're looking at some mysterious things caught on camera. But as always, before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just, Just like, like this. this. Oh, I remember this clip too. Hey, do me a favor. Put a slap in the hand in the chat. Inside their homes. This video was recorded by TikToker user 68143567 who captured this unsettling event while they were in the kitchen. The footage shows the young mother holding her baby. They were supposedly the only ones in the house when it was captured. Nevertheless, the mother quickly becomes startled by the sound of a child's laughter coming from another area of the house. Take a look. Some viewers have noticed that the infant seems to detect something peculiar even before the mother, as they begin looking in the direction of the laughter a few seconds prior to being audible in the clip. The mother appears visibly spooked, quickly turning towards the noise. Y'all, for real, like, did you notice that though? That baby head was in that direction of where the sound came from the entire time. However, after a brief check of the area, she's in there. Yep, that's right. Almost two years of channel member. Hey, we, we love to see it. We appreciate the support. Brandon's six months up in here. Woo! Y'all, the support is so real over here on this channel. Because we the mafia. Yeah. Resumes her activities. Then, moments later, the sound of footsteps reverberates through the room. is shortly followed by the sound of the motion detector on their back door being triggered. Mm. I didn't think about it before, but that sound of footsteps, you know what that also sounds like? Because I've heard that sound many a times before at my own crib back in the day when I was a kid when we used to, when my mom was a candy lady and uh, everybody used to come to our house and knock on the door all the time. That also sound like quick little knocks on the door or quick little slap of the hand on the door. That it could have been that. It could have been that. Yo, that's right. This week is the week I'm supposed to make the channel, y'all. I'm supposed to make the uh, vlog lifestyle channel. I still have the list right here. I still have the list of names that you guys came up with for that channel. We'll get back to them shortly. According to the video, the mother searched her house but was unable to find anything out of the ordinary. What could be the explanation for this series of mysterious events then? Did a local child manage to slip into the house then escape undetected? Others have theorized that it might actually be a playful ghost. What do you think? Share your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. Shout out, shout out to Brandon Jones for hooking the channel up with five memberships. Hey, she out, thank him. If you enjoy exploring dark, deserted places late at night, you're bound to see something creepy every once in a while. In this set of videos, TikToker Isaiah Harris Triple Three discovers something that will send shivers down your spine. In the initial video, we see the TikToker and a companion on a bridge. Dude, did you hear that? You didn't hear that. Using their camera. <clears throat> We've definitely seen this clip before, too. Let me scroll through this video to see if there's anything that we haven't seen in it. Hold on. We've seen this clip. Same clip. Told y'all, remember seeing that. 
E oh snap, that got me for a second. Nah, see, we we see that. We see that. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna let it play again for those of you who have not seen these clips. Sorry for the inconvenience. I just had to make sure that this is not a repeat video that we've already watched. Let's go. In the initial video, we see the TikToker and a companion on a bridge. Dude, did you hear that? You didn't hear that. Using their camera lines, they peer down into the thick foliage below. They seem to be able to hear something that sounds like it's coming from underneath the tunnel. Dude, please don't go down there. Oh my gosh. Dude, hold on. Let me go first. Let me go first. They decide to go and investigate. Take a look at what they capture on camera. Randy says I should debut the new channel on Friday. That might be a good idea. That might be a good idea. Oh, wait, I won't be here. I th no, I'll leave Thursday. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be here. <laughs> I'm going out of town. Oh, man, this this I'll be out of town. I believe Thursday. I'm going out of town to Seattle and then I'll be in Mi Minnesota the following week. For the following weekend so that's two fridays that i definitely won't be here for content i'm still gonna try to get you guys some content but um yeah no live streams next thursday or no this thursday or next friday hmm. watching that again as they peek into the dark tunnel the camera briefly catches sight of a pallid gaunt figure with slender limbs Let's out a blood curdling shriek before the recording abruptly ends. <laughs> the following night, the pair decide to return to the location. This time, they've come prepared with camping gear, supplies, and a four wheeler. They camp out nearby and spend the evening searching for whatever it was that spooked them the night before. This is literally so quiet here. I heard some like growls and grunts and stuff. Dreadhead, thank you, brother, for the fight. I don't know, big baby. After several hours, it seems the pair have had no luck and decide to give up. However, after posting their footage to TikTok, a sharp eyed viewer managed to spot a figure lurking among the trees in the background. Take a look. Who that is? Is this the same figure from the previous night? Viewers have suggested that it resembles a Wendigo, a Skinwalker, or even the Rake. The Rake is a mysterious cryptid often described as a tall, hairless, pale humanoid with elongated limbs, sharp claws, and glowing eyes. What up, Sheila? I see you up in here, big baby. I'm doing well. How about yourself? Here in mental stability, the creature tends to target individuals experiencing distress. Encounters with the rake are typically recorded to occur in remote or abandoned locations, leaving its origin and nature shrouded in mystery. Countless unidentified creatures continue to dwell in the obscure, shadowy corners of the world. This grooms that came in here gifted another five donations. Y'all better stay. Wait. Dang, they were gone before I could say anything. Be in the comments down below. How the heck y'all be snatching them up so quick? Goodness gracious, y'all don't waste no time. Yeah, I better thank her. You don't deserve them. Hey, now. Uploaded to TikTok by TV and eerie sound leads those filming to believe they may be witnessing something paranormal. What's that? Take a look. Yeah, no. <laughs> what it shows what appears to be a young woman with dark hair seated on a concrete step. Not me. If you listen closely, you can hear an eerie crying sound. <laughs> the cries sound like a mix of human and animal, as though a woman is wailing in agony. <laughs> Hey, they, they mess again. I'm surprised they fooling with that mess. 
This unusual sound has led viewers to question whether she might be more than just human. One suggestion is that the woman could be the spirit known as La Girona. La Girona. La Girona, also known as the Weeping Woman, is a chilling figure deeply rooted in Mexican folklore and Latin American culture. This legendary spirit is said to be the tormented soul of a woman who, in a moment of desperation or rage, drowned her own children in a river. Overcome with grief and regret, she ultimately met her own tragic end, drowning herself in the very same body of water. Since then, her spirit is said to have been doomed to wander the earth, forever weeping and searching for her lost children along the banks of rivers and waterways. The haunting tale of La Girona has been passed down through generations, taking on various forms and interpretations, often used as a cautionary tale to keep children from wandering too close to water or staying out of the dark. The story of La Girona serves as both a chilling ghost story and a cultural touchstone. While the shout out to Xavier that came through and gifted yet another five donations. The weeping of a remorseful mother and the chilling wails that echo through the night. Channel member donations, that is. Of this tragic figure. But could it be possible that this video actually does show the ghostly La Girona? Watch and listen to the footage one more time and judge for yourself. <laughs> Yo, man, I got, look at this. I got a fresh shade today. Look at, look at the, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, I got to show off real quick. Ooh, check your boy with the fresh cut right there. I did it myself a day. I seize it. Ooh. <laughs> The things you know. Whoa, what's with her face? Often, when we discuss spirits, we think of individuals who have lived and passed away. However, Redditor Philippe Dino T presents evidence that the reverse may also be possible. In 2013, the poster and his wife visited Chile, seeking respite from their stress and disappointment due to their inability to conceive a child. Mm. They enjoyed the trip and took many photos to remember their experiences. By 2015, they finally welcomed a beautiful daughter into their lives. However, whenever the trip to Chile was mentioned, their daughter insisted that she was there with them, joining them in their sadness. Her parents initially dismissed her claims as the whims of a child's imagination. That was until, one day, nine years later, they stumbled upon a photo from the trip on an old cell phone. The image shows mum standing next to a young girl in a pink shirt. Poster asserts that no children were present at the time the photo was taken, leaving them without any rational explanation for the mysterious image. And on top of that, why is that? Whoa, why is that little girl head like it's shaking like this? The OP has suggested that this is their young daughter appearing two years before she was even born. Wait a minute, wait a minute, two years before. This photo don't make no sense then. How you gonna say this is the daughter appearing two years before she was born unless you held on to this picture for what, 10 years? Because this girl in this picture look like she can be at least eight years old. Unless you held on for this picture for 10 years to look back at the picture and think, huh, my child resembles the girl in this picture exponentially. If that ain't the case, why would you assume that this is the, your girl or your daughter? That makes no sense to me. Because it's not like this is a baby. I can see if it was a, a little baby girl and she appeared in the photo two years before she was born. But this is a big girl. She got to be at least eight. Could this really be true? Could this young girl really have been present two years before her birth, offering comfort to her parents in their time of need, as she always claimed? Love to hear your thoughts on this strange story in the comments down below. Even then, that doesn't make any sense to me. I've never heard of a case where somebody's appearing, unless this is like some time travel mess. Why would she have a, a ghost before she's even born? Unless it's a passing spirit. I got way too many questions for this because it's not adding up. The math ain't mathing for me. Whatever.
This next image was shared on Facebook by Sind David. They claim they found it on another platform with a caption that read, the one on the left is my grandpa. Er? Oh, heck no. Nah. I see what the issue with this picture is now. Vilify said that that picture was too clear. Obviously, it wasn't 100% clear. That little girl was a little shaky head blurry. But you could see her feet at the bottom. Her feet were pretty defiant. It's a possibility that they capped that story behind that photo. It just was some motion blur. They took a picture. It was another little girl in the picture, and it just came out bad, so they just decided to call it a ghost. A, a ghost of birth born before. I don't know. <laughs> but right here, you see these two guys standing here. Blue, blue, but there's a, another guy in the middle. But where's his blur half? <laughs> don't know who the other man is, but check out the guy in the middle. While there's no information dating the photo, we can see that it's clearly quite old. On first inspection, the central man appears unremarkable. He poses for the camera just like the other two. However, a longer look at the photo reveals that the man in the middle doesn't appear to have legs. The picture appears to show the fingers of the legless man's left hand resting on the shoulder of the individual to the right. Apart from that, it's as if he's just a floating head. With no way to inquire about the photograph, we're left to wonder if the one in the middle might actually be a ghost. What are your thoughts on this curious photo? Let me know down below. Or ask me, how have I been feeling? How's my blood sugar been? Honestly, it's been all over the place. Um... I just took my medication right before this live stream, so I feel great right now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm making a doctor's appointment tomorrow because it's time for me to see my primary care physician again. I missed the appointment last month, so I got to do it. So I'm going to go tomorrow. The schist disc, also known as the Sakara disc or Sakara bird, is. And my back hurts. I'm not even going to lie because I was. I did something. I did something to hurt my back. An artifact discovered in 1936 by archaeologist Walter Brian Emery during his excavations at the ancient Egyptian necropolis of Saqqara. The exact date of the disc's creation is uncertain, but it's believed to have been made sometime around 3100 to 3000 BC. The artifact, made from a type of metamorphic rock called schist, measures approximately 30 centimetres or around 12 inches in diameter and is roughly 1 centimetre or 0.4 inches thick. The schist disc is categorized by its flat circular shape and its intricate carvings of symmetrical curved blades that radiate from the central hole. The purpose and function of this object has been the subject of much debate among scholars and researchers. Some believe it could be a representation of lotus flowers or a decorative item, while others speculate it might have served a more practical purpose. That's how I feel. This definitely served, I don't know for sure. But I really feel like this serves some type of practical purpose. Yo, this, to think this was made in like 300 BC or whatever he said it was. Oh, this is crazy. That means it was made before the birth of Christ. Or did he say AD? I think it was BC. But regardless, this is dope looking. What was his purpose though? And if I remember correctly, Slapham said that this was made from some sort of stone it looks like a, it looks like metal though yo i wish i knew what they were on back then because they had they were doing stuff god they were so smart back then such as a tool or part of an ancient machine However, nothing like it has ever been found in other Egyptian excavations right. and historians have no idea how or why it would have been made while evidence indicates that Egyptians made use of potter's wheels in the manufacturing of pottery from as early as the 4th dynasty, circa 2613 to 2494 BC, the use of wheeled chariots is only believed to have been introduced around 1650 BC to 1550 BC. Therefore, if the Egyptians had nothing to base the design of the schist disc on at the time, then how and why did it come to be? Right. One particularly intriguing and controversial theory suggests that the schist disc might actually be a model of an ancient flying machine, or even evidence of advanced technology in ancient Egypt. 3000 BC. 
proponents of this idea argue that the disc's aerodynamic design and the curved blades resemble the modern concept of a vertical access wind turbine or the impeller of a jet engine. However, this theory has not gained widespread acceptance among mainstream archaeologists who typically favour more conventional explanations. While the schist disc continues to fuel curiosity and spark debate among researchers, its true purpose and function remain a mystery, leaving room for a wide range of interpretations and speculation. Fascinating. Before we take a look at a mysterious sighting in the skies over California, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be notified every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. You know, as smart as they were back then and, and as capable as they were, they didn't do a good enough job keeping records of some of the stuff that they were creating. Or maybe they did, but in the way that they had to keep records, a lot of that stuff could have gotten destroyed, right? But obviously today, we, we keep records so uniquely from paper to digital i don't know man i wish i knew what that was <laughs> when reddit i exporius observed three strange objects soaring through the sky they immediately took out their camera and captured this footage it ain't a bird and it ain't a plane the video, captured in El Cayon, California, shows three circular objects flying in a triangular formation. These objects are dark in colour and seem to intermittently flicker in and out of view as they traverse the sky. Big facts. What the heck are those? Redditor explains that they didn't think this effect was due to a reflection, but rather the genuine appearance and disappearance of the objects. They're not helicopter helicopters either. Wait a minute. So the person, wait, hold on. The redditor say, or did the per person that filmed this say that those are flickering of the actual objects? Because the only person that can really tell us that is the person that's there to witness it. If those objects were indeed flickering, um, it might not have been something that they could see with the naked eye because it looked like they have this camera zoomed in, but still. Only they could tell. They described the object's movement as rotating around one another and their motion appeared to be entirely independent of the wind's direction. The Redditor mentioned that after stopping the video, the spheres suddenly pivoted approximately 90 degrees before vanishing from sight. Some Reddit users believe the footage merely shows some geese flying overhead while others seem convinced it's captured an alien spacecraft. That ain't no geese. What do you think? Let me know your theories on this one in the comments down below. How often do geese fly in packs of three? I don't think those are geese, sis. If you love mysterious videos like... Maybe it was a goose. Nah, I'm playing. Anyway, on to the next video. Got one more video, y'all. We got one more video, but we're going to take a, a, a short little break. I want to go and grab me something to drink real quick. But uh, first and foremost, let me pull up the video. Oof. Oh, wait. That's what we just played. This one is titled The Creepiest Hospital ghost sightings caught on camera i'll be right back ah, i got shot i got my finger ow god i'm not touching that again on this way
That hurt my finger. And my, and my, and my finger hurt. Sucks. Okay, we back. Again, this one is titled The Creepiest Hospital Ghost Sightings Caught on Camera. This first clip already looked familiar. Let's go. Ted on 99. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some freaky clips that you need to. Yeah, I know what to put in the chat. Put that slapping the ham emojis in the chat again for your boy. It's like this. Hospitals are often the setting of many ghost stories, and it's not hard. Yes, the green screen did attack me. It hurt really bad. See why? These buildings are places of immense emotional turmoil where people are often at their most vulnerable. Among the many haunted hospital stories out there, those involving the ghosts of children are some of the most chilling. One such story involves a photo that's been circulating on social media for some time now. The photo is said to show the spirit of a young child who passed away in a hospital. The photo, which often goes viral on Facebook and Twitter, shows the faint outline of a transparent child standing in a hospital hallway. I see it. You can even see a head, torso, and legs. Hey, squint your eyes. Everybody squint your eyes. You can see it even clearer. I see his eyes. I can see his nose. I can see where his clothes end. I can see where his legs begin. Nurses working the night shift in hospitals have often reported strange. She looks sleepy or faded. Occurrences and paranormal encounters. Many of these nurses work in areas such as intensive care units, emergency rooms, and hospices where death is common. Mm. Some nurses have reported seeing apparitions of former patients, with some even claiming to have had conversations with them. That might be a bit of pareidolia, you know them. Them nurses work long shifts, 12 hours, sometimes 15. Shit, they, they be working. Others have reported hearing strange noises, such as footsteps, doors opening and closing, and even whispers. And shout out to the night shift nurses. It, it, it's, their job is so vital, so necessary, and they get paid so much more, too. And you know they, that's why they do it. That's shit. They be like, I work night shift. You gonna pay me how much more? Five more dollars an hour? Oh yeah, let's go. One common phenomenon that nurses report is the feeling of being watched or followed when there's no one there. Some have even reported feeling touched or brushed by something invisible, while others have reported experiencing a sense of dread or unease in certain areas of the hospital, which they attribute to the presence of spirits. Healthcare workers also report encounters with shadowy figures and entities that seem to move quickly through the hospital. These experiences can be particularly frightening, especially when they occur in isolated areas of the facility. While skeptics may dismiss these accounts as mere superstition, many nurses believe they are experiencing real paranormal phenomena. Whether these encounters are the result of overactive imaginations or something more sinister, they serve as a reminder that there's still much we don't understand about the world around us. But could this photo really show the ghost of a child haunting a hospital? It's hard to say for sure as the photo is blurry and the figure is faint. However, it's undeniable that hospitals have a history of paranormal activity and stories like this one continue to captivate the public's imagination. My chair too high. India is known for its rich history of paranormal and supernatural folklore with tales of ghosts, spirits and other mysterious entities dating back centuries. In recent years, India has become a hub for paranormal activity. Yes, it has. They've been they've been having a lot of ghostesses in India lately. I don't know why. Y'all, somebody asked in the chat, do you think ghosts are shy? Valid question. Very, very valid question. I, and I believe some could be. Some could be. That's why they don't want to show themselves to certain people. Because they're shy. And they probably don't know that they're ghosts. many claiming to have experienced ghost sightings and other strange occurrences. Chattisgarh in particular is said to be a hotspot for paranormal activity, with many famous ghost stories surrounding the state. 
One such story involves an old hospital building which has been ab- Thank you, Amanda Taylor. We in here, baby. ...ended for many years. The building is said- Monique just dropped by with $400 don't know. Shout out to Monique. What? 400 Thank you. ...to be haunted by the spirits of those who died there, and many have reported hearing strange noises and seeing apparitions within its walls. A recent video uploaded by YouTuber Pradeep Kumar Bangda has added fuel to the fire, with many viewers claiming to see evidence of a ghost. The shaky footage shows a man exploring the old hospital building. Very shaky footage. Come on, zoom out. Can't see. As he looks down a hallway, he captures something rather chilling. What? I capture anything with this zoom in shaky mess. Watching that again, there appears to be a body lying on a gurney. Oh snap, I didn't even notice that. Seconds later, when he pans the camera back, the body seems to have vanished. Yo, that's crazy. Now the body gone. Some dismiss the footage as a hoax or a trick of the light. Others believe this is evidence of a real ghost. India's rich history with paranormal and supernatural a real ghost that was the clearest ghost i've ever seen goodness Overall gracious certainly lends credence to the idea that the building could indeed be haunted and it's likely that many will continue to explore the abandoned hospital in search of evidence of the paranormal That's right. Give give Monique a shout out and happy Monday, everybody. Sleep studies have long been used to better understand the human mind. Yep, I, I, I've done one. About to do another one. What happens when a sleep study captures something more than just brain activity? In a video posted on YouTube by Paranormal Asso back in 2014, a sleep study appears to capture something eerie and unexplainable. Oh, that's messed up. The video shows a patient hooked up to various monitors sleeping soundly in what appears to be a hospital room. Watch what happens next. The messed, part, messed up part of my, about my sleep study is I did not sleep soundly at all. Y'all remember how bad my sleep study went? It whew. I don't even want to recall it. <laughs> it was horrible. Maybe, maybe, nah, I ain't even gonna say that. Nope. A strange white shape appears to materialize above the patient before quickly flying off to the left. That's crazy. That One of the frames makes it look like the white shape is looming over the patient. Right. Down on them. Yep. Yep. The video has sparked much debate online, with some viewers suggesting it's merely dust caught on camera, while others believe it's a genuine ghost sighting. Nightmares have long been associated with the paranormal. That was a real dusty ghost. With many people reporting vivid and terrifying dreams that seem to defy explanation. Sleep paralysis in particular is off. Yeah, I know some. My, um, my dreams as of lately are getting more vivid. I never thought that they can get more vivid. They're so vivid that I can't differentiate my dreams from reality. Often cited as a possible explanation for ghostly encounters. Like, like, like for instance, this morning, y'all know I still have been experiencing um, very, very high anxiousness or extreme anxiousness. And I went to sleep relatively early last night, but I was dreaming that I had to do something like I had to I had to wake up and get some stuff done. So I woke up and it was still dark outside and I threw on some clothes. It was like five o'clock in the morning and I got into my car and I just drove. No idea where I'm going. I just know that there's something that I needed to be doing. And then I actually woke up like an hour later and it was still dark outside. And I was like. All right, I still have to get up. Like, I have to get some stuff done. During sleep paralysis, a person is awake but unable to move and may experience hallucinations or the sensation of an otherworldly presence in the room with them. Others believe that sleep is the key to unlocking the mysteries of the soul, with astral projection being a popular subgenre of the paranormal. 
Astral projection is the idea that the soul can leave the body during sleep and travel to other realms or dimensions. Some viewers are suggesting that this is what's happening in this video. And if they about that. the white shape captured in the sleep study video may never be fully explained, it certainly adds to the ongoing. Wasn't there an insidious movie where a boy was doing astro projecting? And like he opened up the doors for some evilness to come through? Debate about the paranormal and the role that sleep plays in these phenomena. Whether it's simply dust caught on camera or a genuine ghostly encounter, it's clear that sleep studies may continue to offer insights into the mysterious world of the human mind and the unexplained. Guernsey, a small island in the English Channel, was occupied by Nazi Germany during World War II. The Germans built a network of tunnels and bunkers on the island, many of which still exist today. These structures have become the subject of many rumours and stories, with some claiming that they're haunted by the spirits of soldiers who lost their lives in the war. Recently, an image surfaced online that's added fuel to these rumours. The photo, taken in an underground Nazi hospital in Guernsey, shows a row of beds in a darkened bunker. At the end of the row, there appears to be a faint impression of a person standing in the shadows. Not known exactly who took the photo, but the photographer was said to be alone when the image was taken. The Nazi occupation of Guernsey was a dark time in the island's history. The tunnels and bunkers that were built during this period serve as a reminder of the island's past and have been the source of many stories and rumours. Some people claim to have seen apparitions of soldiers, heard unexplained noises or felt an eerie presence in these places. While some dismiss these stories as mere superstition, others believe there may be some truth to them. This photo has sparked further speculation and debate. Could the photo really show the spirit of a Nazi soldier, or is it simply a case of pareidolia, where the human brain sees patterns in random data? Whatever the case may be, the bunkers and tunnels of Guernsey continue to fascinate and intrigue them. I don't know if this is pareidolia, because that looks too much like a person taking a step. I see a head, I see torso, arm, leg, foot. I don't think that's pareidolia. Those who seek out the mysteries of the past. Haunting experiences in hospitals are not uncommon, with many people reporting eerie feelings and unexplained events. A case shared by YouTube user Whip It For Me back in 2010 highlights just how spooky these places can be. The uploader's sister worked at an undisclosed hospital in California and had always felt uneasy during her shifts. One day, while comparing phone cameras with a colleague, the sister managed to capture a rather chilling photo. The image shows what appears to be the apparition of a young girl standing in the background. The uploader speculates that it may be the spirit of someone who passed away at the hospital. No mames. According to the uploader, strange and odd things have happened to several employees at the hospital, from apparitions to strange lights and noises. While the quality of the photo may not be great, it certainly raised questions about the existence of paranormal activity. What up, Gemini Queen and uh, um and Heather and Honey Pineapple? I see y'all, Steve. I see you up in here. Activity in hospitals. It's not uncommon for hospitals to have a history of death and tragedy, which may contribute to the presence of spirits or paranormal activity. Whether this photo is genuine evidence of a haunting or simply a trick of the light, it's clear that hospitals can be spooky places. Have you ever experienced anything strange in a hospital? If you have, share your stories with one another in the comments down below. No, I don't got nothing. In June of 2015, YouTube user Garza uploaded a chilling video that left viewers confused and creeped out. The clip shows several men exploring the abandoned Florala Memorial Hospital, a facility that's been closed for some time. Mm. As they walk down a darkened hallway, one of the men captures something mysterious on camera. Watch.
It can be hard to see at first, but if we slow it down and brighten the image, you can make out a strange shadowy figure moving from right to left. The question is, who or what's been caught on camera here? To understand the potential haunting at Flor... It definitely looked like something or someone walked into this room on the left. Rala Memorial Hospital, it's important to dig into the history of the property. The hospital was established in 1950 and served the community of Florala, Alabama for over 60 years. It was a vital resource for those in need of medical attention, providing care for patients with everything from minor illnesses to more severe conditions. Despite its long history of service, the hospital was eventually forced to close its doors. The reasons for the closure are not entirely clear, but some sources indicate that a declining patient population and financial difficulties played a role in the decision. The hospital's closure left many locals with a sense of loss as it's been a significant part of the community for so long. However, some people believe there may be another reason for the hospital's closure. It was haunted. According to reports, the hospital was the site of several unexplained phenomena over the years. Visitors reported hearing strange noises, feeling cold spots, and even seeing apparitions throughout the facility. Some speculate that the hospital... Hey, y'all. We got five minutes of this video over. If we can get 600 likes, we got 405. If we can get 600 likes... 195 more i would do one more video but if we don't then i'm out those past patients and staff may be still lingering within its halls the mysterious shadow figure caught on camera by javan garpsa and his companions adds fuel to the fire of these haunting rumors while it's possible that the figure could be explained away as a trick of the light or an artifact of the camera's lens many believe it could be evidence of something a little more sinister of course, there are skeptics who scoff at the idea of paranormal activity in the hospital. They point out that abandoned buildings are often prone to deterioration, and it's not uncommon for materials to shift or for natural phenomena to occur that could create strange sounds or visual effects. Facts. However, for those who have experienced the unexplained at Florala Memorial Hospital, the idea of a haunting is all too real. Mm. Before we take a look at some freaky footage that's being captured at an abandoned care home, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. Yeah, I think I remember this next clip. Finders, abandoned beepers. hospitals and care homes have always had a spooky reputation. Finders, beepers, mystery seekers. These places often have a dark history with many individuals meeting their ends within their walls. It's no wonder that such locations have become popular sites for scary videos and ghost hunters. Facts. The following abandoned care home is visited by YouTubers, Finders, beepers, history seekers, who seek to investigate the stories surrounding the building. This place was eventually shut down for a catalogue of abuse and the patients weren't just old, they were dementia sufferers, some of which were about Andy's age. It yeah. was really terrible. The home was reportedly closed down due to widespread allegations of abuse, neglect and deplorable living conditions. Some of the people were classed as being put in cells. The bedrooms were that bad. They were locked away, ignored, and it was just shut down for so many things. Didn't they forget to tell people about deaths? We had 10, we got notified of the Air Quality Commission that 10 people had died. That's so bad. The investigators take their time exploring the rundown facility, finding evidence of its troubled past. This is what does it make me think of as well? Like Chainsaw Massacre type oh, yeah. horror film, yeah. They even discover a logbook containing complaints from visitors horrified by the conditions their relatives were living in. Wow. Betty has developed bruising on her upper right arm. Please observe. As the investigators make their way to the second floor of the building, they're surprised by an unexpected visitor. Take a look. Yo, there's something up there. Oh. A shadowy figure appears to walk across the top of the stairs, disappearing into the darkness. 
Yo, this junk is creepy because when you get up there, there's nowhere for that person to have gone. The men quickly make their way to the spot where the figure vanished, only to find a wall. If you slow the footage down, you can indeed see a solid shape moving at the top of the stairs. What the freak of nature. That's so crazy. Is the evidence of a former resident lingering in the place. Boy, I would have got out of there so quick. Oh my God. Place where they met their end. Their homes can be filled with individuals who have suffered greatly in their final days. If they were mistreated or neglected, it's understandable that they may not rest easy in death. I would have got out of there, bro. Worth noting that not all paranormal activity can be attributed to the dead. Many things can create unexplained phenomena, such as electrical problems, natural phenomena, and even the power of suggestion. However, in this case, the evidence seems to suggest that something more mysterious is at work. Ooh. Have you ever experienced anything weird or eerie at a care home? And do you think the investigators have captured evidence of a real ghost here? Love to hear your theories and opinions on this one in the comments down below. Hello? Now, if you want more. Oh, all right, y'all, we done made it to the end of the video. Slap Pam, kind of a night, man, look. We need 50 more likes for one more video. 50 more likes. I'm going to go ahead and contribute a like too. I'm going to go ahead and contribute a like too. Let's see here. Let's see here. Five. Kicks. Like. Boom. I hit the like button for y'all. Hit the like button for us. Hit the like button for live. 40 more, y'all. 40 more for another video. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. We got 911 people up in here. If you got a like button anywhere near you and you're on this live stream, make sure you hit it for your boy. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up. One more video. In the meantime, in between time, let me find another video. Okay? Hey. <laughs> I give y'all two minutes. Let's see here. The scariest videos ever captured on dash cam part six. That might be something. Let's click on that. Ah, this look like some King Frostmare stuff. I think this might be the longest video of the night. Bam, and we got it with the quick. Let's go, y'all. This is the scariest videos ever captured on dash cam part six. The following video was captured by two young friends who were driving on a road in the fields that was owned by one of their family members. They do this ever so often when hanging out on the weekends. Tonight was a bit strange, however, because they thought to have seen something in the distance and kept driving towards it. My camera can't fucking pick it off. What are those? Dude. What are those? What are those? Why does it look like they have heads? Bro, bro, yeah. that's, that's actually people. Bro! Please just get out of here, dude. It's quite strange how several pairs of what appears to be torsos dressed in white can be seen lined up next to each other. The two believed that this perhaps had been a cult that was trespassing and maybe even performing some form of ritual. But if that's not the case, what could we be looking at here exactly? Pretty creepy encounter though, that's for sure. I would turn around and leave. The following video was shared by Sherman O'Neill, who's the owner of a local trucking business in Oklahoma. Hey, y'all, real quick, real quick. Let's let's put a little quick pause right quick. I want to name 
for the top three picks for the new channel. And I want y'all to say which one of these three do y'all think should be the name of the new channel. So my top three picks is Life is A-OK. -okay, the A-OK -okay way. Hold on, I got another one. Everything A-OK. -okay, and A-OK -okay Unplugged. Which one do y'all think? Life is A-OK. -okay, the A-OK -okay way. Everything A-OK. -okay, and A-OK -okay Unplugged. You watched last week live stream. You should know which one is my favorite. But I want to hear from you guys. He states that a driver of his had captured something rather unsettling one night while being on the roads to deliver a freight was so freaked out about this incident that the driver contacted Sherman immediately. Apparently, the driver saw something on the road, and after realizing this, he pulled over to check if anybody got hurt, but there was no trace of anybody. It looks like a child in some form of old clothing. Maybe a dress, perhaps. Of course, it's almost impossible for a single child to be out there alone at night, walking the highway in pitch darkness. Which is why they believe this could actually be a ghost. What do you think? I actually don't have another explanation for it. I got to figure out how to do that. I don't know how to make a poll. Now we want to take a look at a security camera situated in front of an open parking area at an unknown location. It's quite strange since as the car pulls up, we do have to realize that nobody seems to be sitting in it. Of course, the security guard believes this to be a prank at first and is walking around the car to see what exactly is going on. But then he gets spooked right out of his trousers. I remember there's something from the back of the car scared him or something. All right, like a lot of people are saying A-OK -okay Unplugged, which is my favorite. So that might be the one. Short and sweet, exactly. I don't want a whole sentence. I like A-OK -okay Unplugged, two words. As a strange object is moving out of the top of the car. That's some people believe that this was a weird spirit encounter, but of course, this also could have been all a well orchestrated hoax. This is true. Could have been. The video quality is not that great. Exactly. And when the video video quality is trash, it's easy to hide paranormal BS. So I think it will unfortunately stay a pixelated mystery. The next video was captured by Pedro and Hector Flores. Yeah, I don't know how to do a freaking pl a poll. It's not, I don't see any option on here for a poll. Hold on, what's this? There's, there's nothing. I don't see how they, maybe it's something in the streaming software where I could do a poll. Uh... And they were on a long road trip the following day. After a few hours, they noticed that there seemed to be an accident scene on the side of the road and decided to record this encounter as soon as they passed by the side of the accident. The video is only a few seconds long. Take a look.
You probably didn't notice anything strange, but let's take a closer look. Yo, who is this man? A weird person can be seen in the back, right behind the train tracks. It turned out that, in fact, a fatal accident had occurred here. And some people believe that this could have been the manifestation of the driver that had left our world that day. Either that or an inexplicable creature. Do you think this could be the explanation for this sighting? I couldn't say. Maybe it was a ghost. Apparently there was no bystander crouching behind the train tracks at the time. So, what was it? The next video was a submission and was supposedly filmed by the dash cam of a police cruiser. The officer on patrol was Ben Malik. He didn't expect to see anything extraordinary that night. However, this should change rather quickly. After driving for a while, the officer notices a strange person in the left side of the road and it seemed that they had started a fire. Of course, this was more than reason enough to pull over for him. I found the theme for the poll, but it's so freaking confusing. I do not know what I'm doing with this thing. Ugh. I'm not pulling over for that fool. Steve said he sent it to me. I'm going to check it he out. He seemed to have a burning face, which the man could not explain in the slightest. And this is another case for which most people simply don't have an answer for. The man believes that the woman was performing a ritual of some sorts, and it is stated that he arrested the mysterious woman shortly after. Who knows what exactly this dashcam had recorded here? What do you think was going on? The following clip was shared from the inside of BGR's car, he tells us. I was sitting in my car today and this guy drives up and parks. I don't think much of it at first. The guy had a beard and glasses on. After a few minutes of looking at my phone, I glanced up and noticed him staring directly at me. Except now, he had no face. This sounds quite terrifying, doesn't it? Let's take a look at the actual recording. Yo, shout out to Steve, man. He figured it out. Now I see. I'm look. I should know this stuff. I'm slow. Whoever is looking at the man here appears to have a deformed face, indeed. There are no apparent eyes or other facial features, which makes this event really spooky. I remember what could have been the cause for this bizarre picture. I remember this clip. Was the driver just wearing a mask to hopefully scare the person recording? Who knows? The following unsettling videos were recorded from inside the car of Bat. She saw something creepy appear out of thin air, right across the street in the woods. And of course, she turned her camera on and started capturing this quite eerie event. She shared it with her friends and family at first, so she certainly wasn't looking for any attention. Taya, get over here. You see it? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right, y'all, I put the poll up. Uh, 
Um, I initially took the video to send it to my friend. Paces back and forth for hours and hours, not not just for 20 minutes at a time. This is hours and hours and hours and days, weeks. I mean, here we are a month and a half later and it's been still there. She states that this went on for over a month at this point and that this shadow can mostly be seen from a distance only. We've seen this clip about 50, 11 times. Where we see the figure just walks back and forth every day, all day. Now, I've been over there a couple of times um, as I walk up on it. There's just nothing there. It's quite baffling, for sure. People suspected that it might have been a strange reflection from somewhere, while others think this to be impossible, or that somebody was playing a creepy prank. Whatever the answer, it's certainly a creepy incident. Now to an even more mysterious recording. The uploader states that it was recorded while driving along a road in the city, somewhere in China. It was a nice and sunny day at first, but all of a sudden the weather changed. And besides an unusual strong wind breeze, there was something else that could be seen in the sky. <laughs> Yo, what the freak? It appears to be a strange bird, or like some people speculated, a dragon can be seen flying through the sky. Yo, what the freak? And then there is a scary looking spark of fire, making some believe that this might have been caused by the creature touching the power wires. A nice film project, perhaps. But what makes all of this a little bit weirder is that the same day, there have been several other people recording this incident from all kinds of different angles. Take a look. Yo, what the freak? <laughs> nah, this ain't no film project. This happened. This ain't no film project. This junk happened. But what happened? Nah, this so, is real. Or just a big hoax, some nice editing, or just an inexplicable encounter. What the freak? There was a big old bird in the sky, though. What the freak? Uh, we are checking out another submission. The video was captured by a couple who was out the following day to go on a nice hiking trip in the mountains. It is said that several people had gone missing in this area over the years. So there's quite a bit of urban legends and ghost stories that people like to talk about. The trip went quite well, but after returning to their car, something quite scary unfolded for what they had no explanation for. Looks like a person that is lying right on top of their car and staring into the windshield. Woo! How's that possible? The couple was quite scared and drove away as fast as they could based on their reports. Did maybe somebody play a prank on them? If not, perhaps some well done editing? Or did something otherworldly unfold here? Maybe one of the missing souls? Nah, hold on, hold on. How did that start? Dang, that probably would have scared me if I was paying attention. My bad. Nah, but for real, you know what that is, right? That's that man, them Asians, bro, and they little edits. <laughs> that was a little pale face, little creepy looking Asian boy. Unfold here. Maybe one of the missing souls. Why cock at it? <laughs> Thank you. 
This one is a strange video that was captured one night while two friends were traveling through a town. They were talking about an urban legend at the time of this video that states that a woman in white can be seen ever so often walking these exact streets and scaring people in the area for whatever reason. Of course, they didn't expect to see anything that night, but it would seem that they captured something at the time without realizing. After going over the recording, they saw this in the left mirror. Some say that this was the spirit that is said to roam these streets at night. Could this be? Whatever it is, looks actually pretty sinister in my opinion. And if from right here, you don't notice that. But when he zoomed in, it was very clear you can see a face. Like that. That don't look like the same thing I'm seeing right here though. Oh, it's upside down. Maybe we are looking at a malevolent spirit here indeed. That's crazy. The following clip is as strange as it is creepy. It was also captured by a couple who was driving through a rural area in their hometown. It is unknown if this area is notorious for any kind of ghost activity. But the next encounter made the two really question reality. They state that they were just driving along the road, then taking a left turn. Yeah, I think we can get 800 likes. 800 likes. We're almost there, 740. And then a person appeared right out of nowhere. snap that was a scam they they trying to scam y'all they knew you was coming this food back up hey you just because you're going in reverse that ain't gonna reverse what you did <laughs> uh, he hit and ran Of course, they were pretty freaked out and got out of the car immediately to check on the woman. But what? to their surprise, there what? was no... What woman? I don't see no woman. I guess she realized that her scam wasn't going to work, so she got the heck up out of there. But there. Scam you later. Oh, snap! How's she on top of the car now? I thought she dipped out. Shadow hand seems to be moving in a downwards motion towards the windshield from the top of their car. Of course, it was impossible that anybody was on top of it after they took off again. So they suspect that this must have been a scary spirit encounter. And they state that they avoided this part of town for a long time after seeing this. Understandable. <laughs> and Yo, they over here trying to prank people on the internet, man. Y'all done caused the accident for real. Y'all slammed on the brakes and that girl flew off that car. Spooky. This video was uploaded by Moto2 Rick. Yes, yes. Like we got a winner. And the name of the new channel will be AOK -okay Unplugged. I love it. Who was riding his bicycle on a deserted mountain road one night. This road is situated in Hampi, which is also referred to as the Ghost City. He was on a day trip to the Ghost City, and after spending many hours there, he made his way back to the resort. However, due to the darkness, he missed a turn and got lost for a while on these dark roads. He was pretty unnerved, and there was no sign of any civilization. At this point in time, he tells us that he saw a woman who was dressed like a bride walking on the side of the road. There's a lot of women dressed in white in this video. Why they gotta be women? Why they gotta be so scary too? Hmm. Oh, she don't pop out. Hey, he on the bike too? I would not feel safe. Oh snap, there she go, there she go, watch out. Stay, don't, don't, nope, don't even go, don't even look back. Just keep going. 
if anything, speed up a little bit because you're only going about as half as fast as that bike can travel. It does appear to be a woman in a white dress that is walking in pitch darkness. Pitch I darkness. Feel like she looks pregnant, perhaps. But that, of course, that's look not my problem. Could also just be her weirdly shaped dress, or she could have some other kind of weight on her, the kind that involves eating. So, if this wasn't just a confused woman, what else could it be? Maybe a spirit? What a scary thought. Nope, don't stop. Don't you stop. If Think about it. Think about it like this. If you was not out there that night, she still would have been. So, you better keep on pushing straight ahead. Because, nope, not me. She, she could be carrying a person underneath there. You know, they might just be walking along with her. And then you stop trying to talk to her. They jump out and attack you. No. This fool was not born last night, but I definitely was born at night. I didn't say that right. But anyway, y'all know what time it is. Y'all enjoy the live stream? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more. As always, you can find the links to what we watched tonight down in the description box below. And I'm going to catch you crazy people in the next one. Y'all be safe. See you.